Hello and welcome, this is Insiteris and I'm starting to play Mafia 1 The Definitive Edition. Wait, is the music up? I'll take a little... What's... Where's the music volume there? So! I'll put that back on later. So, anyways, uh, this is Mafia 1 Definitive Edition. Well, actually, it's Mafia Definitive Edition. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying Mafia 1 because, after all, there is Mafia 2 and 3, but... For all intents and purposes, this is Mafia. Uh, released in... When was this? The definitive? 2020. And this is a remake from a game made in 2002 called Mafia. Makes sense, of course. And um, uh, it's set on the uh, fictional city of Lost Heaven, Illinois, during 1930s and follows the rise of and fall of Tommy Angelo. Rise and fall of Tommy Angelo, a Sicilian American cab driver, to a gangster within the Salieri crime family. Yes, and that's what we're playing today. Uh, the first one was originally released in 2002, and um, uh, it was critically acclaimed, if I remember correctly. Uh, the ports for Xbox and PlayStation 2 was not that well received, but the original game definitely was some kind of a masterpiece. I did play at the time i did play it and uh, still is i did play that at the time when it was released and uh, i still have it from steam i should probably get it on gog also anyways i digress yeah i played it when it was released 2002 and uh played it quite long but then this one infamous car race that really really stopped my progress with that game and uh, so it went and started to gather dust and I never returned to it. Uh, well actually I did in the Xbox version because I decided to try that one but uh, let's just say <laughs> it was not as good as I had hoped so again nothing left. Then Mafia 2 I Played it a while ago, way, 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 way. Never played it through. I bought it on Steam way before it wasn't even a remake, remastered or something like that. Uh, and uh, I played it quite a lot, but uh, I think I encountered a little bug there and uh, the mission never finished. And again, the game went on the back burner and never got back around to it. And then there's Mafia 3, which I actually played on Xbox One. And I played it completely true. I enjoyed that game quite a lot too. But again, why I'm rambling about these old Mafia games? Well, we are starting to play Mafia 1 Definitive, or Mafia Definitive Edition. And uh, my plan is to play all these three games true. Mafia 1, Mafia 2, and Mafia 3. Well, Mafia, Mafia 2, Mafia 3, sorry. And um, yeah, that's my plan. I'm not certain if I play them like uh, basically when I end the Mafia 1 go straight to Mafia 2 and straight to Mafia 3 there might be a little games between those or not who knows I'll have to see it depends what happens <laughs> because with my brains you never know but uh, yeah they are definitely the mainstay games for now I'm definitely going to go through these games one way or the other another Hopefully, unless something really horrible happens. But let's see. Uh, controls. I'm starting with the mouse and keyboard. This could benefit playing with the controller, especially the driving parts. But the shooting parts probably is a bit better with the keyboard and mouse. But as I played the original in 2002, definitely with mouse and keyboard, I'm going to at least try. I... I think I go with the classic difficulty. They are different. Um, easy, medium, hard, and classic. And I definitely want to have the police response and driving mode simulation. More like akin to the original Mafia, where they actually definitely... Act. Well, I don't need to put the difficulty to classic then. Or is it trying to be as similar as the uh, original game? Huh. Hold that dog. I'll have to check that. And back. Uh, after consideration, I'll probably go with the difficulty medium, but police response and driving mode simulation. Uh, because when I've 
checked few things uh, at the start. I thought that you need to have a difficulty of classic so you can have the police response and driving mode simulation. But I think that was when it was launched. So maybe these are uh, added later to be activated. Because I read that when you play med medium, um, your police response is regular and... Uh, driving is regular but anyways i digress i'll probably go with the medium because uh, i read a few horror stories about uh, re uh, <clears throat> race part with the classic and although it it would be fun to see me fail multiple hours a day i still think i will go with medium and um yes i guess i'm missing out um ammo management on classic uh, if i understood correctly at least with the classic difficulty there is that uh, if you have bullets in your magazine and you decide to reload you lose those bullets that's that are still in the magazine but i digress uh we are going with the police response and driving mode simulation and difficulty medium that is enough uh, that's okay what was the one thing i was going to check to uh keep on remapping driving yes. speed limiter is l okay anyways i think that's enough let's go in oh oh it already tells uh classic for players looking for classic chance enemies are lethal aren't enemies always lethal police response to more crimes fewer u u e indicators ammunition left in the mag is lost when reloading yeah it says that Police will respond more crimes. More dangerous. I'll still go with the medium. Um, uh, aim assist. I thought I put it off. Uh, look invasion off. Driving mode simulation. Transmission automatic. Although it could be fun to play with manual. But I'll go with the automatic. Simulation, skip drive of tutorial show. Yes. Okay, I think that is enough. Let's start. Yes. Home before the storm. He says with a joyful glee. Birds flocking off.
looking very nice. I do remember the first taxi missions on the original were uh, not impossible, but still quite hard, if I remember correctly. Tommy, Thomas Angelo, Detective Norman. You alone. <laughs> no self-respecting badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just the coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No, thanks. Suit yourself. So, yeah. Said on the phone, you might have a proposition for me. That's right. Well, if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you called the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Well, let's hear it. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, he handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up? Yeah. I might have something. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, you want money? Some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. Pa always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. And your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is, you got someone powerful mean on your tail, and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. But, yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. Christ, I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed the heater in the nursery, did you? No. I was a cab driver back in 30. Here we go. Oh. Godfather. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts, when I first met Polly and Sam. Shit! Oh! 
Charlie, there's a taxi here. We'll be okay. Move it. Come on. We're through. Anywhere. Fast. No, oh, this is gonna be fun. I got a gun pointed at you. They catch up, we're dead. But you don't get to walk away. I don't want any trouble. Well, you got trouble. Drive. How the hell did they know we'd be there? It doesn't matter now. We just got to lose them. Uh, how many cars we got following? One for now. But there will be more. Okay, what is this? Let's go straight. Hold tight. I'm going to try something. Oh, that was automatic, okay? Who were those guys? You don't get to ask questions. We need to get over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll put a limit. Okay up there. Hurts like hell. When we're back, I'll wake up the doc. I don't know. It might be okay. He's getting the call anyways. Hey, I see you listening, cabbie. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want to go. So do that. Okay. I'm uh, going to check one thing. Be right back. Okay. Hopefully everything's okay. I was just checking that uh, the settings are still simulation and they are indeed yes okay we're at the river where am i taking you once we're over the bridge i'm getting tired out of questions <laughs> okay fortunately we have a limiter so more of them ah shit oh great I... I know some shortcuts that'll slow him down. Do I? I? How you do it? Just shake him off. Okay, I will. I hope. This is like Need, need for Speed Most Wanted, uh, 2005. That was your shortcut. I lost him, didn't I? Not all of them. Stop These whining. Guys really don't like it, do they? Sometimes business partners fall out. It uh, happens. Yeah. Quit yapping, Polly. More he knows. Oh, no yeah. The sun come up. I ain't heard a thing, fellas. That really took a dent on my car. You're one hell of a wheel, man. I'll give you that. That's they what... must have sent word out. There's more and more of them. We're not going to last long unless we're back on our own turf. Let's get back to the neighborhood. So, where do you want me to go? Here? Wait, what happened? Oh, nothing. Okay. Uh, I, please move away from the... Wait. Oh, I need to make a U-turn. Can you shoot the guy? It's right over the... Yeah, it doesn't look too good. But let's follow the lines. Every car they've got is on our ass. Come on! The West Harbor Bri Ah, uh, the bridge is up, ain't it? So who cares? Yeah. We Let's can just make go. It. Yeah, we can. Either we die or we make it. What the hell are we doing? Just sit tight and pray. Never done that before. Me neither. Okay, so little Italy. Now. Your night's not over. Well, Okay, but I... I didn't see this coming. You think he squealed? I think you zip it tight. We talk it through back at the bar. I do wish I get a nice tip after this. Wait, get get back in the car. You're <clears throat> making a scene here. You don't even have a gun out. Just... Jeez. Seriously? Get in. This is... This is quite awkward now. Well. <laughs> okay, we're close. 
pull over in front of that bar. Samieri's place. Yeah, that's the one. Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the dawn or not? A little something, some. One of those nights. Stop walking in slow mo. Compensation for your services. Any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Salieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, we want it at poker. The scratches on your car, you swerved to keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? Nah, of course. See you around, kid. rough night but at least the pay is good and now we have a place where we can get alone the envelope I could have had a heart attack enough to fix the cap <laughs> nearly enough to buy a new one I thought about what Sam said about work I wasn't interested the money was good sure but I didn't want to get in with criminals better to be poor and alive than rich and dead so Right there. Back then, I was out. Burn out. Well, we didn't get any offers. Well, well, kind of did, yes. Let's go. After that night with Salieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there, driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Depends. Driving, ma'am. Always driving. Okay. So I get in the taxi. Let's put so it. where to? St. Michael's Church, directly. Okay. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. I know. Don't know if they added the mechanic that was on the original Mafia that... Uh, Turn you... that racket off. I can't hear myself think. How do I turn it off? I don't know. Uh, uh, when he tried to... So, church. It's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. So when he tried to commandeer web vehicles, basically just a lock pick them out, you need to learn them. I can't remember how it actually worked, but you just couldn't take any car all the time. 
that's an interesting mechanic also i do know there are collectibles in this game so i'll have to see how i deal with those of course they are this is a lovely game to go around and just drive so i have to see how that works And here's the church. Stop there, by the park. Okay. Here you go, St. Michael's. That'll be 30 cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. <laughs> sure, whatever you say. I wish I could. Ooh, jeez, lady, I'm doing my best here. Um, Better find a new fare. Can I turn this off? There's only two radio stations. I'm actually gonna check. So what is this? This is a collection. We have Dime Detective Magazine, Black Mask, Magazine Science, Super Science Stories, Terror Tales, Gangsters Monthly, Secret Cards, Mementos from Lost Heaven that may reveal some unexpected surprises. Okay. So those are the collectibles. Um, controls, controls. Uh, we have... Local radio. Ah. So four is a flip vehicle. I'm guessing that will help us flip it right way. So do I need to go somewhere or just wait? Oh, I need to drive around. Okay, that's fine. And we can see a police right over there. There you are. Hmm, what's the... So the map is like so. Uh, quite a huge area. Yeah, I'll have to see how I deal with those collectibles. There's something on the right and something on the left. I guess police is over there. Let's check if that is true. Yep. Police. I guess there's a new fare for us. You want to ride? That didn't sound too well. Good. Wait, Our what? gallery. Give me that quick. Sure. Quick, I can do. And yes, we do have a time limit. Taking some time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just talking. I'm paying you to drive, so do that. Okay, good for you, sir. Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Sold up before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings? Busy, have a busy, business busy. meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. I hope we have enough time. Let's see, please. If this oh. is what passes for driving in Little Italy? Well, sorta. Said you saved a few mobsters with that driving, but... Um, can I say... I don't have a driving's license. Unless I, I 
but I do have. Okay, that worked lovely. Let's uh, just turn around like so. We should have enough time to do this. Pull up in front of the gallery. And here we go, sir. Right. Thanks, pal. There's 50 cents. I don't spend it all at once. I'll try not to. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. On to the next. And I'm guessing that will make us change our plans for the future. Hmm. It's some blurriness in the in this. I don't think I have I'll have to see if I take uh, some motion blur or something like that off. It's not bad, but just a little bit. Wait. Cheese. Hey, over here. Where do you want to go? Oh boy, you look like shit. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Booze. Figures. Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. Got yeah. any good fares today? Yeah, some. But never enough of them. Who's got the money for a cab rides since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. Only reason I got you taking me places is I am drunk and don't know better. <laughs> Cops see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Guess so. If they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. <laughs> This city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. Bad figures, yes, corrupt city. No. So far so good. We don't have a time limit, so at least there's that. So we might as well take it a little bit slower. Nearly there. Just up here on, on the corner, please. Hey, my cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. Take a break, huh? Thanks. Might just do that. So Lucio sent you. Okay. Can we take some coffee, please? Yeah, I think we can. Whoa, Jesus. Oh. Hey, how you doing, pal? You remember me? Nope. Yeah? Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go helping Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much rocking for a while. Eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. Oh, great. Do I really need to beat this guy? Okay. Apparently no, because they're shooting me. Space to wall. Um... Can I go through here? Yes, I can. Do I want to go here? I guess I do. Go, 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 go. Do we have stamina? I... Oh, bloody hell. That really ruined it. Uh, and there we go. 
little parkour. Why is it every game I'm playing today? Well, lately there has been some parkour. Well, not that much, of course. And, um, so far, so good. Am I thinking that these colors are a little bit washed? Look at this. How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou! You got business with the Don? Nah, we're just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you gotta say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I can tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Okay, then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. Love the hair, dude. <laughs> I think. At least we could do. Come on. Let's go say hi to the Don. Don Silieri. Tommy, yeah. you just got hired. He's going to want to hear about this. Okay, Running Man. What do they call you, son? Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him. Are the kind of Tommy helping us? This, uh, taxi. That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Well, I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. Have to say, cab riding days are over. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The bot's finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. Three horses. Who's Interesting painting. The cabbie. We're helping him out. He's gonna drive the bot? Don Salieri, I'm writing to let you know of my joy to hear that you will be attending the wedding of my daughter. Please, if there are any future arrangements you would wish for, let me know. It will be a wonderful day, and for the world to see that occasion has your blessing, you will make it even more special and memorable. Your loyal friend Giovanni Romano. Nah, you know, Find anything that good? Easy. Nah, I, I hate sitting I'm watching you. Born as hell. Got it? I get it. Says you're not ready to come out yeah, I'm just day. snooping around what as it's do? normal. Don't get what his problem is with me, Polly. What do you think I gotta do to? Think you shouldn't. Anything else we can find? Not gonna give a good answer. 
Ooh, there's something. Papers, papers. Prohibition here to stay. Production and sale of alcohol to remain illegal. In a speech to gather press, President Herbert Hoover reiterated today that the noble experiment of prohibition will remain in place. Forced to respond to Democrat criticism, Hoover also promised a more efficient and better funded prohibition bureau to prevent the profiteering, profiteering and smuggling. Yeah, that works. That works. That really worked very well. Good thing nobody... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do we have some collectibles? Holy Lombardo. That was first of uh, cigarette cards. Let's see. Can we check them more closely? Yes, we can. Holy Lombardo. One and... Mob enforcer Polly Lombardo operates in the streets and alleyways of Little Italy, Lost Haven, Quick, Lost Haven. Quick tempered and fiery, he oversees a tight network of criminals and informants loyal to his boss Don Salieri. Whatever he, wherever he walks, he is greeted by the fake smiles of the extorted and the fearful. To earn his displeasure is ill advised. If he stops to talk, he wants money, not the time of day. Right. Come back later. With Polly or Sen. The bars are closed. For you, I'm afraid. For you, I'm afraid. Okay, this is <laughs> starting to get my gangster movies out. So I think we checked everything for now. Him, I don't know. You're good with Polly. But that don't mean you're good with me or anyone else. Oh, okay. Got some kind of problem? I don't know. Do we have a problem? Do we? Hey, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. Yeah. I'm... Take it of Minnie first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. Good to know. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any, uh... Heavy lifting. We make sure we're well healed for when there's for trouble. So we're grateful for his dough. But we gotta go. Long drive back north. So, let's get some tools for the trade. Madonna Vitenzo! Ciao, Polly! Oh, she's gonna sing! <laughs> Who's this then? Benny. This here's Tommy Angelou. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> oh! Hey, if the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Todd. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten him out. Hey, okay. Thank you. Beat the prophet Elijah West Marty the Zindrugtomori. The Titans will duke it out in the ring for the heavyweight title, Lost Heaven Sports Arena. But Martin leaves the room. Uh, okay, but there's something I want to pick. Can I... Yes, yeah, sorry, I'm pushing you away. Dime Detective. So... Death Wears Red Heels, a Bill Brand novelette. Calamity Lou, a Mr. Maddox story. Okay. Cop sure would love to get their hands on this stuff. You mean the guns or the paper? Or both? I'm sorry, I'm pushing you away again. Nice. Not a cop, are you, Tom? Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got away with cars. I don't get how this moron gets in just to purr. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. It's a kind of magic. Hey, 
genius! <laughs> Get your head out of your ass! <laughs> the fuck there, Papa Polly? You can't, can't, can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> See, see, you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sure, 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 sure Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. G good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 rod, but it, it'll get you across the to town. All right, let's go. You're driving. I'll probably need to upgrade. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> one day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know oh. what Ralph's trying to pull, giving us this motor. I want to show you something about the good life, and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Okay. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. Stick a tin can. So, does that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep. New supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop-off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you got a torch, he's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay, so long as we're careful. Keep an eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through, if you want a bottle, just ask. We'll keep some back for friends. Nice. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but... Not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, best skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, yeah. oh, this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to set fire to Morello's parking lot. He's got a point. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it. Okay, I'm gonna check a little one thing before we continue. Be right back because I think the. Uh, Speech is a little lower than it should be. Be right back. Okay, let's see if it's a little bit better. Because there's cinematic volume and then there's the dialogue volume. And it's hard to say it's the cinematic when it's when we have those uh, in-game videos. Probably it is. Hopefully it's a bit better. Uh, I need to check these a little bit later again. Now I have to see if there's anything I can with that little fuzziness maybe it's a death of field or something like that that inf interferes it's not bad but uh, a little bit oh i just went through the lights well it's okay nobody saw that we're getting on to morello's turf now we there's are there's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri streets not really there's always some give and some take though in general we look after little italy and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk, in the wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Thin red light. Oh, great. I hope the cops are not coming the same way as we are going. That would be awkward. Uh, well, we should be fine now.
Yes, I can see the cars over there. I do remember this mission. Okay, it's close by. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some guerrilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. And a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. Okay. Thanks for the head talk to mate. So where are we going now? You go quiet. You know how to go Boss quiet, right? Yeah, like that. Yeah, he's got his mate. Yeah, like that. You'll get there someday. No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. Good advice. So what's next? Get over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their chump busy while you creep up and jump them from behind. Ah, oh, sorry. Wrong place. We need to go over here. I'm real good at distracting. It's my best thing. What you doing? Okay, we need to go a little higher. Anything I can pick from here? No. Hey! What the hell you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I mean what I say. What the hell are you doing back there? Who are you? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep lookout here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Salieri's got guys all over town trying to give Morello a black eye, and Dino makes you guard the cars? Listen, fella, who are you? You know Dino? Yeah, I know Dino. There was this one time when I had the chance to get him from behind and choke him out. But for some reason, I hung back. Missed my chance. What are you talking about? I should have done it. I should have stopped it. Okay, I think that is enough. Ah. But I did. As I was Do I need to... Oh, okay, it goes uh, automatically. I was a little worried that uh Christ, you can leave the horse to water, but you can't make it take the guy out. Ah, get bent, pal. Should have brought something to drink with you. <clears throat> Just like that. Got it. <clears throat> okay, that worked. So we can pick up the body. Yes. Where do I want to take you? So Where would I send your cars. body? Take your back and start swinging. Okay. Uh, hold down to open the weapon wheel and you... Okay. You stay there. Use the bat, Tom. So we have Molotov cocktails, grenades. We don't have a pistol. Cue to swing. <laughs> okay. That's so I can't... No, you can't <clears throat> use the left. So melee buttons are <clears throat> different. <clears throat> Crap! Hey, get away from the car! Back up there, Tom! You got some kind of death wish? Okay, one down. Want some? Come on, Tom! Quick! There's gonna be more of them. Okay, that. Molotov and let's see some flames. Oh, G to enter Molotov and. Okay, do I need to? No, I. Oh, yeah, okay. He got that nice and good. He, no. Uh, I. Whole block hurt that. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. I can know we? this is Dino's car. I don't like it. I'm gonna know where you keep it. Reports of burning vehicles and gunfire in North Park. It. It's right near Morello's place. A little bit held. Do we have anything else in here? Because this seems like a place where something could be inside. Okay, nothing. Old ways are the best ways. Straight through the gate! We gotta get out of here before the bulls show! 
Oh no no no, that's not great. That's not good. Oh, shit. We got cops. So uh what do we do? We lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds like a plan. Plan. Right now they're pissed, but let's not get them real pissed. Fine. So the melee buttons. What part of stay out of sight wasn't clear? Well, he wasn't at my tail. When I last checked, but the yeah, apparently the melee buttons are different than the mouse, but uh, the shooting buttons. So I'll have to see if I can change those. I'm a bit awkward. He's now moving through Chinatown. Am I? I, I, I don't think so. Well, whatever. So almost it's not quite like need for speed but close and I'm thinking more about most wanted than the recent ones well oh I think we are in Chinatown now maybe please turn around yeah, these are definitely not tuning cars. Okay. Okay. We lost them. Stay out of sight till they lose interest. Yeah, that's a good idea. If I can. Oh, one behind me. Let's go to the left. Please don't see me, please don't see me. We're almost in the clear. Almost. almost. I mean, this could work. We're good. Let's head back and see the boss. Let's see I the boss. Silly, he had cops on the books. Some. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. You learn, you got to learn to listen, Lou. How would it feel? Feel good? How what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. There's no time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. There's busy days. It's slow days. I've had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar joint. Try careful, we don't need the attention. I know, sorry. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar joint with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family you had to have more connections. Your brother or your uncle or... Oh, some guys, sure. Your cousin got made or you like Carlo whose pop went way back with the Don. That means you get trusted more when you're starting out. But there's plenty of us who came in off the street. I'm thinking we get you in front of the boss. Then we tip a few. Well, Ooh. I don't got plans, so... Sure you don't got plans. The plans are to feed Vinny so much booze that Luigi has to roll him out the door again. I'm oh. good with whatever. <laughs> sure you are. Well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. Up of a better car with a, a broken window? Fresh air never killed nobody. Okay, at least we got a better car. Anything else we could find from here? I don't know, let's see.
So we got one of... No, it was a science fiction, I think. Uh, there it is. Here we have... Super Science Stories! Day of the Comet! The... The Doth Woman? Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> I... I am interested to read those. Can I actually... How do I save? Do I have, um... Load last checkpoint. Okay, I see. I see. Yes. Well, we have to see when I'll end this. Well, there's something we can do for now because we haven't gotten really in the, into the game yet. We are just scratching the surface of the crime family, Salieri. He's still with you then. Somehow. Yeah. Yeah. What's it to your pal? Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See? That's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella is a hothead. And all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you. But you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. There's a lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. <sighs> Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter Sarah, Maron. Okay. <laughs> Of course, Don Salieri has to worry about us, but anyways, let's continue. We are in the family now. Those first days in Salieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Salieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. Come on, I <laughs> but got what did I know? 
You, Tommy? Come on, this yeah. Gas in your tank. Boss Get is waiting for you. Thanks. You good Salieri. Well, at least we have a new trades. Nice. Well, I might go a little different way if I can have a choice, but uh, it'll do for now. Anything I can check before we go and meet Salieri. Strike against love wages. Dock workers unite, lost heaven. I have a feeling that we will be introducing key work by American produce. We are going to do something on the docks. Think before you act, accident. Haha. <laughs> Think before you drink, before you drive me mad. More boxing. Okay. Can I talk to you? So time to go inside. Are we going upstairs? No, but we are going upstairs because I want to see what's up there. Maybe more co more horsey paintings. They even have names which I can't. Enzo Tequila and uh, what is that last one? What is the last one? Okay, I'm... Zort. <laughs> I don't know. Enzo and Dehila, at least. One of you, but I don't know the last one. Now I'm kind of curious to see what is the last horse eh? uh, Definitely Mafia is very story-driven, the first one. When the original was released, uh, there was quite a lot of uh, talk about the length of the script they did for the game. At the time, it was a little bit unheard of to game have a that long of a script as Mafia had. So as you can see, we are quite there he is. unlike Sorry, that. I'm late. Take a seat. Unlike the, some other games, we are quite controlled with the story. And it's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. We'll make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. You see? Uh, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Sure Tom thing. He just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Okay, but what I was thinking, yeah, this sounds like a routine thing, but I'm guessing it's not routine. Well, it started as a routine, and of course, something goes really wrong at some point, as they usually do. He said Morello's still bent since he lost the cars. Ah, what's losing some motors to him? He's got at least five garages this side of town. He's not wrong. Hey, just so you I saw this, and I thought of you. Thanks for the revolver. You ever carry a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right, that don't count. Pointed at the target over there. You mean that hands up target over there? Good posture, real mean. Now, click, click, click. Bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay, now show me a reload. I open the chamber and away you go. All right, last thing needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind something and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate what? it. Hey, 
the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's funny. Let's be honest, it doesn't really matter if you shit yourself on as long as you do your job. <laughs> but all the family working together. And Don Papone went out of the picture. Salieri and Morello. Oh, there's a Tommy gun inside the violin case. Nice. You have seen the way we muscled in on Lost Heaven back in the day, Tommy. Eh. Hey. Don't be Peroni or something like that. Anyways, let's go and get the car. Somebody up there, smile down on me. What kind of car we do get now? Oh, there's a newspaper over there. One year since the crash. Let's read it. Uh, the worst panic in Wall Street's peacetime history was one year ago today and still no escape from the wider economic depression that has followed it. Unemployment reached 8% this month, but given the prevailing trend of shuttering businesses, banks and foreclosed farmsteads, some economics, economists warned that this could be double, perhaps even triple the in the coming years. Special picture feature showing scenes from every state. Okay. Some engine over there. I'll check around if there might be a collectible in here somewhere. Pro oh, nope. You, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And then afternoon to f f fix the window back up. Watch. And learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Hmm. Okay, to p hold V to pick lock. Come on, Tatami. Show me what you can do. Okay, it's a car. You got it. Thank you. Have a good day for fellas. I'm gonna go and check this. But uh, if I remember correctly, in the original Mafia, you learned to pick lock different cars. You couldn't lock every uh, lock pick everything. But I don't know how it goes here. Ah, Mama, me and Mom, nice. I do hope Ralphie will survive. Ah, oh, um. Uh... Interesting. Oh, there's a teddy. Or is that a teddy bear? It's a teddy bear. Hmm. But yeah, I hope he survives. But I have a bad feeling. <laughs> really bad feeling. He's a guy you start to like, and then somebody just puts a drill on his head or something like that. First, we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. I'll put the music... Well, actually... It should work. And I do have a limiter... On, so... Washing machines. Huh. Newfangled things washing machines. Honestly, you just use little elbow crease and get those laundry done you don't need machine for that that's how you make lazy people washing machines cheese good are you moving or do i need to go past you get in lady i'm in a hurry What's the problem there, mate? Okay, that doesn't work. Yes. 
Let's see what's the excuse for being late. Is okay. This is it. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Walk this way. Mm, I have my fists, but I don't have my baseball bat, okay? Sam, Polly, how are you? We need some cannoli. Little Julia. Ha, not so little now. She's turning into... Let's see. Dear Mr. Perdorelli, this letter is notification that you are in default of your obligations to make payments on your agreed loan. This amount has been overdue since July 15, 1930. You have ignored requests to pay this debt. Unless the full amount is received within two weeks, I will have no choice but to instruct this bank to begin the foreclosure process on your home and business. Please act accordingly. Christopher Marcino, manager, Grand Imperial Bank. Well, that kind of explains he hasn't been able to pay his loan, but you see, there's still a tiny problem. Nobody cares. You're a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. That's good to hear, Al. Real good. Now, you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julia without payment? Hey, hello. You all day, Tommy? Don't we worry. Places we need to be. I know, I know. I'm picking collectibles. No, this is the old one. This is the first. Sam Trapani. I think. Let's see. Hard edge, ruthless, highly skilled. Sam Trapani is a famous figure in the Lost Heaven underworld. Little is known of his past, but the impact of his trigger finger is widely understood. Trapani's research nature should not be taken for hesitation or second thoughts. He is a remorseless criminal and loyal only to his capo, Don Salieri. Trapani is wanted for murder, conspiracy, and racketeering. Do not approach him and pray that he does not approach you. Sounds uh, sounds a lovely guy to know, yes. So Hey mamma, do you Where's have the a money? It's on the table, brown envelopes. Yeah, I'm sorry, but we need to do the business. That's what you get when you're learning well. Okay, I guess that's not something nice. Race winner. I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. <laughs> and give our best to your mom, huh? I don't think she gave us her best. <laughs> Completely honest. So, what's next? What's okay, next? Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. That's a nice way to nice way to keep Guy those. Guy used to run this next place, Tom. His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman, but it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head into the counter back in what, 27, I think. <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. Uh, those are. Uh... We keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs there in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded too. Excuse me, guys. I'm trying to talk with my recordings here. Uh, yeah, those uh, uh, GPS signals those are nicely incorporated in the scenery, not too obstructive. So yeah, that's that's a nice little detail. 
I heard. Okay. And I'm thinking L.A. Noir quite a lot. <laughs> Maybe because similar, well, a bit later in the L.A. Noir, and of, of course, but uh, still. Phelps. I probably should check when would be the best time to go and get those collectibles, if there is such a time. To be honest, it doesn't really matter if I don't get them all. Yeah, but we will see, we will see. Uh, it would seem like it, yes. Let's hope the police will keep us... keep away. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Sure. Everybody's sure. Can I? He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, okay. when Polly's built up a little steam, he needs to let it out on his own. She's got to let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, the guy ended up in a wheelchair. It's rough. Hey, Polly, was that enough? Uh, was that <laughs> some... Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Is that something you really needed to do? Try before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's <laughs> nephew's guy's money is ours next week with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. So Bates model or, or Bill. You wanna come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah. Seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kinda not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly? We've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you ought to... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Get the fucking shine box, mate. Oh, sorry. Wrong movie. Wrong game. Jesus. Wrong movie. I oh. hate it out of the city. You hate it most. Oh, oh my Ralphie's just gonna love you. Well, it's us. Made it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. Safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice just recently the motels had a new lease of life last stop before lost heaven for rum coming up from cuba they drive it this far sure they do and that's how we can sell it so expensive bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged salieri protects it but he lets the other families use it too even morello to keep the peace sure plus it's far enough away that no one cares so long as everyone's making money no one's gonna rock the boat so, how much you're really uh, ready to? Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. 
Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. Well, happy to oblige. So, as we are going where exactly? We are going somewhere over here, far. Uh, how much you wager that this drop will not go smoothly and we end up using that gun we just were given? That's actually a church. I want to go check, check the church. Each time you crash, you make little Rafi cry. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, but I want to check the ch church. Wait here, guys. I'm... Sooner we do this, sooner we can hit the gin mill. Wait, what? Now, let's see what we can find from here. Anything worthwhile? Ghosts? Something? Any collectible? I can see in s ooh, Vented by US Marshal, Lost Haven, Police Department. So, am I understanding that if we have. Okay, Scott Sinclair, aka Red Smoke, Lost Haven, Police. Wait, what? What is. <laughs> what is this? What the hell is that? Is that a. No? Uh, I don't think it's anything you can collect as per se. I have no idea what that means. Can I go in the bale of hay? Hiding inside the bale of hay? No. Okay, I'm just checking out. Yes, you can use the roll with no. Well, there's something. I totally forgot. <laughs> the terror. Yes, we have some terror tales. Hostess for the dying. Hostess for the dying. Eerie, fascinating terror novel. Broad, chilling novelette. My pupil, the idiot. Okay, let's get inside. Hey Ralphie, I said, Tom sure can drive. No working after hours, cleaning up after me and Sam. <laughs> No chance of that, huh? <laughs> Are you trying to make me feel bad? A few dents here and there. Almost. Got it. Hong Kong to you, sir. Okay. Let's go collect the money from the uh, motel. Everything will be fine. Nothing will go wrong. It's gonna be easy. Wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. Just taking the money and... Be done with it. Nobody's shooting us. And we're not shooting anyone. Okay. There it is. Finally. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Okay. Few dents here and there, a little polishing. Tom! Tom, I, I took one. Jesus Christ, Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capish? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Sam. They're trying to beat information out of 
I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. What a surprise. Everything's going fine. So... Find a way into the mortal. That is... Interesting, when I press that sneak, it doesn't always take it. Hopefully they don't put his head on a vice. Are you by a lonesome by enchant? Um... Okay. So he has to be up there. He's getting back inside. Is he coming back in here? I... I think there's a guy, yes. Is he coming back or not? I know this is not the best place to hide it, but at least we... It will work for now. So can I get more ammunition or is that it? Yeah, 30 is maximum. Well, that's enough. I do hope they have the similar weakness that usually humanoids have. Basically, putting bullet in their head. I have found out that usually that's a weakness for Some most of the people. I think it is. So, unfortunately... You really are a tough guy. Making five rounds and still walking. Ooh. Page down. That's a weird button. If I rem remember that. Well, we don't need to sneak anymore, so there's that. See him? There's that fox marker. Gotta reload. Don't know if that's... is meaningful in any way, but it seems interesting. Could that sign a collectible? Well, there's at least something over there. Gangsters Monthly. Do, do I even want to check it? Yes, I want. Gangsters Monthly Comics. An offer you can't refuse. An honest Gabby must drive or die. That sounds awfully familiar. Only familiar indeed. Wait. Again this foxy. Oh, these are collectibles. Oh, now I see. That's why we have... Okay. Yes. I'm a little slow learner, but I'll, I'm getting there. I want to check this room first. There is nothing over here. I don't know if I want to go 
collectible hunting, but we will see later. I mean, oh, that's a pretty bird. A boar. Just a little bit. Can I? So that's a melee. What I would like to know... Yeah, I think he's dead. Uh, what I really want to know, is there a way to change... Moving to cover. I hear you, but I can't see you. No. Roberto Gilotti. For City Council 1930. Bring po prosperity. Elect Roberto Gilotti for City Council 1930. A trusted figure in Lost Heaven. Owner of boats, boat yards and industry. Employer to thousands. Friend of the city. Dutiful father and husband. So basically probably booze hound or womanizer and dealings with the underground. I see him! You dead? I think they are dead. Hmm. So I guess he's right over there. So what is inside the closet? Nothing. There's absolutely nothing in the closet. I could actually heal myself. Heal. Okay, so far so good. I guess you are dead. It's quite dark in here. I can't really see anything, but let's open the door. Open the door. Uh... Open the door. Oh, uh, well. Open the door. Hmm. Right. Can I play the piano? So do I need... I heard footsteps. Do I need to... Oh, there you are. Are you still alive? Okay. I think you're dead. So, can I now go inside? Yeah. Okay, now I think I can. Sam. They really went to work on you, buddy. Christ. Come on. You'd be all right. You're tough as nails. Oh, please, no. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. Oh, so we are hunting with the car, Where I guess. Sam? He's okay. Inside. Hey, go get the money. Yeah, I'm going. And let's go. Go, go, go. Okay, we have infinite ammo inside the car. That's good. Okay. That sounded weird. Come on. 
Oh no. Oh. Please. Oh no. That 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 leaves a mark. Yes. A little bit, a little bit more. Did we get him? I think we did. That was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. Huh. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. Yeah. Ordinary routine. And it wasn't. Intermezzo, 1938. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabby to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. It didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner, what are the odds? It felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy, he scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You're driving with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Dom, Tom Morello, I, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. The grills look bent up, is all. I mean, I got a cousin. I got. <laughs> Tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Morello left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. On Don Square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Or maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, huh. have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We're running booze, out for protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Okay. Hopefully this is a nice place to end this episode. Fair play, 1932. Good vintage. Tommy. Thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm. 
I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race. And he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Merle's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You'll go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Should Sarah, can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Should be no problem. Yeah, sure thing. And we already knew that hey, will be a problem. Like what do we have? A race day approaches. Yes, it does indeed. The grandest day in the sporting calendar is almost upon us. Record crowds are expected to descend upon the Lost Haven Autodrome this weekend, as the city basks in glorious sunshine. Famous German driver Martin Lichtenberg is taking some time away from the international series to challenge Lost Haven's hero Mickey Dunn. And racing fans are on tenter hooks. Tenter hooks? <laughs> okay. New it's words for me. <laughs> so, I you think make sure I have something to drink when I win. we are almost done here because I'm guessing this has made a proper save. Hey, buonasera, okay. Tommy. Buonasera. So that's a fun. But anyways, yeah, I think this is end of this episode, and we are definitely continuing. Again, like I, like you probably seen, this is a story heavy. Hey, so, Tom, do you have a place to go, or does Don Salieri just pay you to make the place look pretty? Ooh. He's got plenty of places to go. Come on, Tom. This job's against the clock. Of course it is. Fortunately, it isn't at the moment, but it will be. This half portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this mook. Polly, he drove you home. Oh, yeah. Christ, that was some night. Pretty it must have been. With those broads, not so much. What do we have here? Thank you, Tom? No, just looking around. And I just walk on the table. Is this the third? Horse painting over here? Somebody really loves those horses, or oh, this is some kind of a food I need to break. Mmm, cigars. I'll check around the upstairs. Hey, ignore what Sam was saying. Those parakeets were singing just for me. What? Are you talking actual parakeets or ladies of the night? Or something like that. Can we? We can enter these rooms now. I think. Yes, we can. I'll check if there's some collectibles here and there. If not, can we end this newspaper? We can't read it, unfortunately. But mm, why? I think we have Felipe Pepone. I think it's uh here we have Felice. Sorry. And no. Wait. Felice Pepone. Wait, why does it change to... 
Now it's the wrong right one, okay? Pepone's legacy looms large over lost large over lost heaven. Under his rule the Italian gangs took root and flourished. His wiles for his Wiles first corrupted the police and politicians. His intuition and the mentorship saw that his capos Ennio Salieri and Marco Morello would one day rule in his place. In 1921, Don Felipe Pepone died in deal gone wrong, but in truth, the city will never have the luxury of forgetting him. Well, that's a man to know, and there's something else over here. Pictures. We have the whole Kang here. Family. Familia. Yes. Hmm. That's actually a nice looking table. I would like to have one such as that. Although it would be pain to ask carry. So there's always that. Anyways, I think that is for this episode. And we just scratched the surface of the game. I don't think this is that, that long of a game overall. Of course, if you go uh, on about with those collectibles, they do probably lengthen the game. But again, I have to see what I do with those. I don't think they will really give that much for the gameplay. So we probably uh, just go for the story. Um, again, this is story heavy game, and uh, that's how I like it. I don't know. I don't know. I was facing out. I was thinking something else. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you next time. Until then, goodbye.